All right, what is going on, my dudes? We're back here today with the newest champion entering MCOC. We got the Shocker. Now, this guy is pretty darn freaking cool, man. His entire power budget pretty much lives in his heavy attack, which is really interesting, man. So he's very simple to break down. You know, I feel like usually every two weeks when we break down a champion, there's like a novel. We got to like break down and be like, this is what they do. This is how to use them. This is how you go about using them. And this is how you should use them, right? This guy is like so simple. Basically, you build your charges, you use your special two, and then you charge your heavy attack. That's really all there is to it, man. Now, he's also got some utility as well, but that stuff just kind of happens. You don't really have to work for it, right? Right? So uh, basically, let's talk about it. So he's immune to shock effects, right? That's great. Lots of champions immune to shock nowadays, but also he's immune to concussion debuff. So that's nice. You know, if there are nodes where like, you know, you power, you get a concussion debuff, cool. It's going to be immune to it. Nice. Also reduces the duration of incoming stuns by 50%. So when you run max limber, basically immune to like encroaching stun, that kind of stuff. That's nice. Also really nice. If the opponent has the limber mastery active, it is removed. That's very much like uh, OG Spidey's buff. Like uh, that, that works for all limber, which is great. This is just the limber mastery, but it works for, you know, uh, like, you know, battleground and alliance for like that kind of uh, limber mastery there. He can't land crits, right? Which is obviously good for like, you know, Havoc and Sinister, all those guys, but uh, his attacks have armor penetration equal to his critical rating. Cool. So, Vibro Shock Charges, that's like his thing. Those are his resources, right? Basically, oh my God. Basically, you do a light or a, this is a shiny Hisuian Zora, by the way, it's very pretty. But um, basically, if you do a uh, light or a medium attack, you gain one Vibro Shock Charge. When you have 50 or more, you dash forward, you go unblockable. If you break their block, you consume 20 charges, right? On defense, if you strike him while he does this, he loses 50 charges. So that's how you want to fight him on defense, right? Um, um, his auto block at 50 plus vibro shock charges. If shocker would be struck by a special attack, he consumes 25 charges to auto block the rest of the attack. Really, really solid auto block. Great for stuff like apocalypse and stuff like that. If you're not good at like dexing those specials, you can kind of like dash into it. It's pretty darn cool. Um, so his medium attacks, he has a 2% chance per charge to remove an opponent's prowess. And at 50 charges, it's 100% chance to remove it. It's like low key, a very solid prowess removal. Um, also, 0.5% chance per Viper Shock Charge to inflict a stun debuff for 0.8 seconds. Um, so this is nice for like extending those combos, especially after special three when you have Energize. Uh, yeah, so is Heavy Attack. This is where the fun starts. Charging a heavy attack consumes Vibro Shock Charge every 0.05 seconds, and your your the last hit of your attack just gains an absolute metric crap ton of attack rating based on every charge that you do, right? So you pretty much most of the time you want to have like 75 to 100 charges, and some extra longer fights you want to have 150. But more often than not, this guy's gonna like you know excel in Alliance Four and Battlegrounds, where you're gonna want to do like Special One, Special One, Special Two, and they're gonna be just like wiped off the face of the planet. Uh, yeah, it's pretty darn solid. So the special one you gain 25 of your charges and you have a chance to stun the opponent for three seconds after this it's a cooldown of 10 seconds um at 50 or more charges it's unblockable okay and the special two puts a physical vulnerability and a very long stun passive on the opponent all right really darn cool so that's why you can go for the special two right into the heavy attack and of course i'll show you that but the special three essentially just increases the vibro shock limit to 150 to put some more uh juice onto that heavy attack and also you gain a 100% energized passive until the next time you reach special two. Uh, so at least chaining those special ones, very darn efficient, man. Now a SIG ability as well. Um, basically, whenever uh, Shocker is stunned or the opponent gains a prowess, he gains three Vibro Shock charges. So that's good for you know him on defense and also good for fighting mutants. And then also his special one costs 100% less power in each fight. That's really cool. That's like the first time that's like ever been a thing really in the game, I believe. And it's really, really cool. So you can really seriously go uh, special one, special one right away, which is really fun sometimes, just throwing all those special attacks, you know? So yeah, this guy is absolutely going to excel in battlegrounds and war, that type of, uh, of health pool and now there's a lot of cool things you can do with him but more often than not i'll show you the cool things as well but more often than not you're going to want to go for like the standard style rotation if you have your shocker at like max sig or whatever right watch so what we're going to do here i'm just going to start off by hitting the opponent he's so simple you just strike the defender and that's really it right so check it out bam special one look at our, our power bar we still got it Still got the power, right? We're gonna bait out a special attack from this guy. You know, we're gonna play it safe. We're gonna go for the special one. We got the stun. And look, 
we got 75 charges, right? So at this point, if we did one more special one, we'd be fully rammed, but we don't need it. We don't need it in this fight, right? So we're gonna go for the special two. And as you can see, we're like just about fully rammed here and now Deadpool's halfway dead. And we're gonna charge the heavy attack like this. And that's gonna be it. Watch, it's gonna be wiped off the face of the planet. Bam, 150 K heavy attack, right? And that was about 40 seconds. So on top of all the damage that we did in total, that probably did about like 220,000. So you could pretty much safely say almost any mutant in Battlegrounds, you're gonna be able to wipe off like that. That's That seems like a fair assessment, right? And maybe for class, you know, when you don't have the class advantage bonus, you probably wanna go for one more special one. That seems fair, right? Um, but yeah, it's pretty darn solid, man. Now the thing is with the heavy attack, it's like you don't have to do it after special two. There's like no law saying that you have to do that. It's like it's the most fun to do that. And it's like probably the most effective and the most efficient and the most consistent. But you can also do stuff like this, depending on the opponent's like animations. Like watch, like for this kind of stuff, there's a solid 75k heavy attack, like 10 seconds into the fight. And look, we use a special one and we're like kind of like ramped up already. 30, 30 hits, right? We're going to charge again. Look, we only charged 10 charges and that did like... 30,000 and now we went for a special one we got the stun and this is going to do like a solid 90,000 like that was okay that was actually faster than the first fight you know but like um, you know the thing is it's like it's going to depend on the defender's animations and that comes into like oh you're going to be doing heavy countering and stuff like that so you just keep in mind that this rotation is not going to be for everybody but it's certainly something he can do you know what i mean i mean that's really solid that is real. That's like so solid, man. Even like if we just do a small heavy attack, man, a solid 20k heavy attack from just the 10, and then you get the stun on the special one, giving you 90k off of 40 charges. That's like really solid, man. I don't know. That's really solid. Now, if you wanted to go for like a full max ramp on the special three here, let's not watch the whole thing. You know, because you're just going to be ramping up. But keep in mind, this whole process here is taking about like 90 seconds, right? From start to finish. So we went to the special three first, right? We're going to bait out a special attack from Deadpool. Watch Shocker's power specifically here, okay? Watch his power bar specifically after Deadpool throws his freaking special attack, if he ever does. So wow, 90 seconds with 20 seconds of baiting a special two, not bad, right? But watch... Watch his power bar. Basically, it's six hits it's going to take, essentially, to get from zero power to, like, one bar of power. So a little bit over one combo. But as you can see, those special ones happen back to back to back to back to back. And look at the, look, the stun on the medium attack, man. Let us go right up to a special two. And yeah, we're going to do a really, really big heavy attack here. Even with all that back and forth special attack baiting, it's only been a little bit over a minute here, a minute and 10 seconds, and a 252k against the mutant there, which is really nice. So the heavy attack fury scales with base attack, but against tech champion specifically, you gain the uh, class advantage bonus there as well. So he has a little bit more juice against mutant champions, which is great, but he also is pretty darn solid against non mutants as well, man. But yeah. That's like really not too bad. So just, just for an example, I said you're getting a little bit more juice against mutants. If we were to do this against Winter Soldier, for example, perfect, right? That was 252,000. This is going to be 241,000. Cool. Got the damage for sure. And it pretty much all takes place in that heavy attack, which is really interesting. When it comes to synergies, um... Yeah, this is actually kind of nice, man. The first one with Spider-Man at 50 plus charges, he pretty much gets like a 50% taunt. That's really good. But the thing is, it's like, you know, at that point, most defenders like die where you're going to be using him in like, you know, Battlegrounds Alliance 4 is really where he's going to shine. Um, but it's still nice, man. You know, the thing is, I'm pretty sure uh, MSG is going, I don't know if he uploaded it yet. Maybe this is a spoiler. But he's like done like five abyss solos with this guy, so he's not just for short fights. Like he can he can do some things, man. He can do some things. But yeah. Um. What else we got going on here? What else we got going on here? That's a good synergy for Black Cat. Attacks to steal the calling card, guaranteed critical hits. Um. Well, unblockable, gain twenty five percent attack rating for Shocker. Okay. This one gives like you know little debuffs to Vulture and and Starkey. It's okay. It's okay. 
over here. You can escape me at the show. Uh, activating a special attack to cowardice. That's actually really nice for like, you know, those mutants into the cowardice. Yeah. So yeah, man, the dude's pretty darn solid, dude. And you know, when you look at the mutant class as a whole, not only does he get the, the added bonus of like ramping up Oh, not, I'm sorry, not only does he get the extra attack bonus from class advantage on the heavy attack, but he also ramps up quicker against prowess. So for example, like Kitty Pride, like you can like literally just like parry her to give her prowess and then remove it and ramp up quicker, you know, which is great, which is like really, really great. So that's, you know, that works for her, works for Sauron, works for Toad, works for Apocalypse really well, um, works for Gambit, even though Gambit's super duper easy to fight, right? Um, but yeah, I mean like all the like sort works for Storm, not that Storm is super hard to fight, but you get the point. There's probably gonna be more mutants with more prowess in the future. And plus any nodes that have prowess, you're gonna be be able to rip through as well so yeah i feel like he does a really solid job of countering the opposite class that one punch heavy boom you know really nice domino is probably gonna mess him up pretty sure that like you probably don't want to be fighting her yeah you, oh my god dude you're gonna be crit failing on those you do not want to fight her with with him do not do that that's not going to be a good time Oh man, there's just so many things that, like, cause, cause here's what's going on. Every medium attack could put a stun, right? So, ooh, that's, but then again, you could do a big punch. So, I don't know. It's kind of up to you. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, last ditch resort, like, if you're in battlegrounds and you have a shocker and there's a domino in front of you, you can like just do light attacks, then go for a special two into a heavy kind of thing but yeah i mean you get the point right he, he he does solid against those mutants like i really like them a lot against sauron because like sauron just has like all of those prowesses right and once you and look so every time he gains a prowess like we're gaining those charges like crazy and then we're removing it right like crazy right so we're doing that we're keeping him at bay and also like we didn't do a single special one and we're at 60 charges. So like those type of mutants, man, who just like have the prowess, it's gonna be really good for them. I'm really good for them, man. And you, oh, dude, if there's like a like a really big health pool, like an abyss type fight where there's a lot of prowess in the future, he's gonna be great for that. He's gonna have those continues go for special twos and do like consistent heavy attacks throughout. So in the future, man, it's gonna be solid for that kind of thing. There's like an eternity of pain, whatever's in the future galaxy of pain i don't know what's next right but that kind of thing that's what it's going to be solid for i think the next featured pool is looking pretty darn cool we don't know if it's going to be six or seven champions but if it is just six then you got zemo who's ridiculous as you know if you watch my channel by now absorbing that no he's already out but we have zemo who's ridiculous um ant-man and cassie who are both pretty ridiculous viv and kate who are both really darn good and then you got shocker who's pretty darn good Solid crystal, man. Solid crystal. Solid year for champions so far. Um, champ design. Really good stuff going on so far, man. So yeah, that's Shocker. That's how to use him. That's what he can do. He got that big heavy attack. Again, go check out like MSD's channel if you want to see those Abyss solos that I'm sure he's already uploaded, man. Because this guy can do a lot that's not just geared towards Battlegrounds and Alliance War, right? If you want to go for like a little, uh, a little heavy counter method, that's a little, uh, a little fun, right? It's a little fun to do things like that, man, because there's a lot, a lot of potential here, as you can see, solid 75K, right? Over and over and over when a damage cap is 50K in Labyrinth or 85K in Abyss. Uh, that's a lot of damage that he's got going on. And he honestly did, like, you know, I was talking to the designer initially and he's like, yeah, he really doesn't have too much utility, but uh, he's got damage. And I'm like, I, as I was playing him and making the deep dive and everything, I'm like, you know, he's really like removing prowess really easily. He's immune to concussion debuffs. He's immune to shock. And uh, he's, 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 what else has he got? He's got something else that's really, really good. Um, oh yeah, and the stun thing. He's basically immune to stun debuffs too, so. I don't know, man. Like, you know, he doesn't have, like, debuffs or buffs or anything like that, or, like, heal block or that kind of utility, but, I don't know, it's pretty well-rounded in my opinion. But that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big old like. Also, let me know what that V is on his belt in the comment section below. I meant to Google that, but I didn't. But, yeah, I'll be seeing you around, man.